Greetings, my name is uh, Roberto Mucaro Borrero. I'm a Taino indigenous person, and I'm on the committee and one of the founders of Indigenous Peoples Day in New York City. We're here this weekend on Randall's Island. Uh, we're celebrating and commemorating Indigenous Peoples Day. And uh, as you can see behind me, we have an arena with Indigenous peoples from the local area, but also from around the world. And we're here to uh, celebrate our cultures, to help educate, but really also to provide an opportunity for people just to come together in community again, because we've been uh, so uh, we've been because of COVID, we've been forced in isolation almost for so long. Uh, that this is, this is also a healing event for for everyone as well. We've been holding this Indigenous Peoples Day commemoration for, this is our seventh year, and we've been holding them here on Randall's Island, and uh, we ha always have a really good turnout, and we're really happy that people keep coming back and seeing the value of this, seeing the value of connecting and coming together as community and allies to support Indigenous peoples, not only the Indigenous peoples of the local area, but even beyond, uh, across the country and around the world. We have about uh, 25 uh, booths here, about different vendors uh, displaying different artworks, crafts. We have a food vendor here as well with some uh, native cuisine. Uh, there's also some organizations that have information about the work that they're doing. Uh, some are talking about uh, green energy proposals because, you know, what we're also about is talking about uh, our relationship to the land. As indigenous peoples, we, we understand we understand and promote this. So anything that has to do with renewable or sustainable energy, uh, we're really promoting that as well because we're thinking about not only ourselves but our future generations. So it's important for us to be linked up. There's also some uh, organizations here that focus on health, and people could talk about that. We also have a station for mask and sanitizer and things like that, so you can feel safe as you come around and, and enjoy the day with us today. Uh, my name is Joseph Agustinello, A-G-O-S-T-I-N-E-L-L-O. -L -L um, my ancestors is from Puerto Rico, uh, a town of Indian. Um, I support all the Indian fests. We're all as one in this world. And this is so important to come here and, and join with other other indigenous people. Uh, we went down to the water. I brought uh, water down from Pocono. Uh, Pocono, um, oh, my, my apologies. Um, Pocono Lake, Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, I wanted to share that. And, and, uh, and the energy that was down at the water was awesome with the, all the other people who brought waters from all over the world to share and to uh, energize the energy. Uh, this world which is which is so important um, I'm here for the fest um, enjoying the energy the music uh, and meeting other people hello my name is Kendria Norman and you spell that n-o-r-m-a-n and we are here today on this special day one because of my brother-in-law and it's his birthday today but he introduced us to uh, indigenous celebrations and powwow like in Shinnecock he brought us here like two three years ago and this was before it was a recognized holiday so this is really special because this year it's a recognized holiday so we've been celebrating this to find out that that's awesome so you know today is supposed to be Columbus Day and once he introduced that I was like this is it this is what we're gonna celebrate for now on on What's the day is always October 11th or whatever Columbus Day is. I've decided three, four years ago because of him, like we are celebrating Indigenous Day. Um, his ancestors are Taino. My ancestors are Seminole Indian, um, originated in Fort Pierce. That's where I grew up. So I just love coming out here and getting the experience and seeing the culture, um, praying and getting beads, the crystals, and it's just really special. Hey, morning. This is Jem, G-E-M, and I came here today and yesterday to volunteer for the Indigenous Peoples event 
Uh, it means a lot to me in really my own life, but also in what we've been experiencing as a community in the last couple months and, uh, you know, going on two years. Uh, community has just become the center of what I need to fill my life with. And uh, though I haven't really gotten to know all of the folks here, uh, Personally, every single individual I've encountered has just oh, been so okay. welcoming no, and supportive ready, and as a volunteer right. just they definitely made me feel like I was part of the so family right away. Burn. So for me, that's what the focus Beautiful is, just trying to foster community in all aspects of um, our entire lives. And for me, the indigenous they people, the as people uh, a woman of, of indigenous heritage, uh, it is absolutely imperative to be connected. So I'm just happy for the opportunity. So beautiful day, beautiful people, and glad to be celebrating with them together.